has recently seen a huge rise in popularity on the offlane position. In our offlane tier list video, he's also been mentioned as one of the best offlaners currently. On the other hand, he does require quite a bit more mechanical skill to play than some other offlaners might, but it's a great time to pick him up now, so let's get into it. Before we can get to the meat of the video, here's our question for today. Who is the best support combo with Mars? Snapfire's cookie seems like the perfect spell to set Mars up for an easy kill, but frankly, I still really like the Dark Willow combo with the Terror Eyes. Mars is a great offlaner, but why is he good exactly? For one, he's a strong laner, has many options when it comes to matchups, and even when he loses the lane, he is pretty strong without any items unlike some other offlaners. Later in the game, he mainly offers solid initiation and has an easy time killing pretty much any hero that can't avoid arena, so the hero likes to spend the majority of the game shoving in waves with his two spells and starting a fight every time arena is up. Mars overall lends himself well to a super aggressive style that is great at punishing the greedier carries that we see all the time in pubs now. As mentioned before, Mars is a great laner, but he's relatively squishy for an offlaner with his 2 armor and pretty much no sustain, so your mistakes will often result in losing a lot of HP or just straight up dying. First, let's look at his toolkit. Mars's two main abilities for laning are God's Rebuke and the Spear. Both are AoE nukes that have a slow and a stun effect respectively. God's Rebuke has a much lower range, but a lower mana cost and is easier to use, whereas Spear can be dodged and has a high mana cost, but is safer due to the much higher range. In addition, your hero's base stats aside from the low armor are pretty solid, including a longer melee range, much like Monkey King. Two nukes and high movement speed sounds like an excellent recipe for playing aggressive, but since your hero is relatively squishy and has no real way of fighting once your spells are on cooldown, that aggression has to be measured. Early levels, especially level 1, you'll want to start with Rebuke and use it to secure CS while knocking back the enemies to avoid them harassing you. If you're in a really bad matchup, consider taking Spear instead to avoid fighting completely and just secure range creeps from a distance. If you have a strong support like Windrunner, Mirana, or Lina, you can use your spells as a setup for them to deal a lot of damage. To best suit that plan, your starting items should include a Quelling Blade, a good amount of regen, some armor, and stats. In case you want to start with Spear, you should take some mangoes instead of the armor or the stats. As the laning stage progresses, you should aim to push in the lane and start playing aggressive once you hit level 2. Anytime either their carrier support is out of position, you should try to open fights with rebuke since the slow can help set up your spear, making your combo easy to land. Even if you can't fight them, you can and should start pushing in the lane, then ask your support to pull for you. In virtually every game, max spear first as the stun duration scales really well. On really difficult lanes, you can get a value point in Bulwark at level 4, but you'll rarely need it. Your biggest power spike after level 2 is going to be when you get your ultimate. With Arena, you can kill most heroes in the game, so you should use it whenever you can. To force fights, either push the tower on your lane and kill whoever shows up to fight you for it, or get a smoke and rotate to the mid lane. If the enemy carry is smart, he'll leave the lane to jungle instead of dying to you, so you could also hunt them in the triangle area. There are two big problems to fix with that plan. Rebuke's range is short, so you have a hard time starting with it, and mana sustain. Therefore, your first item should always be a Bracer, Boots, and some mana regen items. Good ones include Bottle, Soul Ring, Raindrops, Basilius, and a lot of Clarities. As always, buy a magic stick in lanes where you can get great use out of it. It especially helps with your mana. Once you have all of those, get yourself Phase Boots and start working on your first bigger item. What your first bigger item will be depends on what your team needs you to do in the game, as well as how well you did in the lane. You'll always want to blink eventually, but Vlad's and Yules are also great choices. Generally, if you need to initiate on hard catch to catch heroes like Ember Spirit or PL where blink simply won't cut it, Yules is going to be your answer. Use it to set up your spear as you start fights. You can also use Yules to get easy kills without your arena, and it gives mana regen to sustain your constant fighting, so it's an overall great item. If you did really well in your lane and your team can afford to wait on your blink just a bit longer, Vlad's is an awesome choice for your hero. It gives you mana and health sustain while farming and also makes your rebuke heal you in fights for a good amount. It synergizes with your hero's kit really well, so build it if you can afford to. Even if you can't make this your first item, going back to it as a second or third doesn't make it any worse. Blink is, of course, your main item that you're aiming for. Your hero's role is to initiate fights and Blink is by far the best choice to enable that. Your team usually needs you to go blink first, especially if you lost your lane, so don't be greedy and build items that let you farm or deal more damage in a rough game. 
Mars is extremely strong, even on just a blink. To figure out which option is best, you'll need a plan for the match. Your hero is great at pushing waves quickly with his two nukes, killing basically anyone on a short cooldown and is generally quite hard to kill because of the bulwark and his two knockbacks. That means you should always plan the enemy side of the map and look for pickoffs whenever you have arena ready and pushing in dangerous lanes and enemy territory when you don't. Coordinate with your supports to make sure your aggressive playstyle doesn't just get you killed all the time. If you end up on the defensive, make sure you still defend your towers if there's any chance at all. Use your two nukes to clear waves quickly from a distance, and use Arena to disengage if they try to dive you. Since most of what you should be doing on Mars after the lane is fighting, it will be useful to know how. We've mentioned before that you should seek out fights constantly when you have Arena up. Before you have Blink, use smokes or try to hide behind trees to get close enough to use Arena. Once you've dropped it, spear your target to a wall and knock them back into it as the stun duration ends. Remember, your job is to open the fight and stun your target. It's not necessary to die hitting them. Before you have your items such as BKB or Vlads that help you survive for longer, it's fine to use your spells and stand back a bit if you're low health. Then go back into the fight when the cooldowns are over. Once you have your blink, you can change how you approach fights a little bit. Not only can you use your spear without arena easier, you don't necessarily need to open the fights yourself, although blink makes that easier as well. What that means in practice is that you can get kills without relying on your arena, and you can hold it in team fights until you see a really good opportunity, compared to before when just getting it out as initiation was the goal. While going blink in opening fights, then going out once you hit low health to wait for cooldown seems like a great plan. If you eat a single stun, it's not going to be that easy. To let you survive, you either have to be tankier or you simply avoid taking damage in the first place. If you need to deal with a lot of disables, you have no hope of surviving, build a BKB. If you're up against cores like Zeus or Lycan, it's often better to build items like Pipe or Crimson Guard to tank through the damage. As the game goes on, one of your major problems all the way from the laning stage will rear its head, your low armor. As such, usually your first late game item after BKB or Auras is either going to be Shiva's Guard or AC. Both are great choices, though Assault Kiras is more common. As with every hero, Mars has synergy with some heroes and bad matchups against others. One common synergy you'll have is with Phoenix. Since your arena blocks projectiles, it's the perfect spell to keep both people near the egg while protecting it at the same time. On top of that, you're also strong in the lane together, so expect to see this combination a lot. Another strong hero with you is Marana, whose arrow is one of the best follow-ups to your combo, and her ultimate lets you use her arena without blink much easier. Try asking a position for a player to pick one of them if you plan to play Mars. Your worst opponent is probably Rubik. He has an instant stun that can ruin your combo before you have BKB, and he can steal both Arena and Spear, both of which can win fights by themselves. In the hands of Rubik with Telekinesis to set up, Spear becomes a reliable, extremely long duration stun, so avoid giving it to him. You can choose to either max Rebuke first or skill Bulwark and toggle it after you cast Spear. Other bad matchups will include heroes that can get out of your arena and dodge your spear. Heroes like Lifestealer, Morphling, or Weaver are all hard targets for you. Avoid these heroes if you can. That's gonna be it for today, and I hope you learned something about Mars. Even if his kit can be a bit...